Bingham High School for this edition of High School Rewind, available on HighSchoolRewind.com and the High School Rewind YouTube channel. As the Bingham Miners 1-0 to start the season, prepare to host the 0-1 Payson Lions. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Dane Stewart here to bring you today's game. Really intriguing matchup we have for you here today on High School Rewind. Let's start first with the visiting Payson Lions. As we mentioned, 0-1 out of the gates, a tough 7-0 loss to Provo. And talking with Coach Aroka, he said, you know, our, our back line, a little inexperienced, got beat a few times. He would love to see that group solidify it. That's going to come with some experience for Coach Aroka and his Payson Lions. It's a team that they return some key players up front. Talking about guys like Juarez, Castano, as well as Castillo. He said Castillo, he's got a wicked left uh, footer if he can uh, – have the the space and time to get one off but their strikers he says should be very good up front that back line though that's really the area of focus that he wants to focus on as he tries to implement a new style of play this year for the pace and lions always a tough thing to do but he's got a good opponent here in this one because how bingham plays it's what coach Oroka wants his boys to do the bingham miners one and oh we mentioned they defeated weber earlier this week one nil and it's a team that has a lot of youth. By my count, only eight seniors on this roster. They will play freshmen, very good freshmen as well, but they do have some of those senior anchors, guys like Nielsen to roam the midfield, and then the junior Cardoso. So, I mean, they have some experience, but they have a lot of youth. Speaking of youth, back the starting keep today for the Miners is going to be Davila, the sophomore, getting the start today in net. It will be interesting to see him. The Bingham Miners, 1-0 undefeated, trying to keep that early momentum going. The pace and lines trying to get that nasty taste of a loss out of their mouth. Opening kickoff coming up next here on High School Rewind. Ready to kick off here from Ron Thorne Stadium at Bingham High School. The visiting Pace and Lions in their road green and white with the home Bingham Miners in the white and blue numerals as Pace and controls to start things off. Near side with Judd and that one just behind him. Bingham possession. Early on here, Sobrera. Right out of the box, putting it on net and a big save early. Put back another big save. A couple early tests here for Luis Garcia, the junior keep for Payson. And he's got two of them right out of the gate. It's a great sign for Coach Aroca as we have our first whistle and a kick awarded to the Lions. Garcia, the lone junior starting for the Payson Lions. Everyone else on the pitch is a senior for Payson High School. Bingham in control at midfield. Dropped back. Now back up with Blanchard. Nice touch ahead and offside as the flag is up. Put in play up the line. Headed up, and now getting behind everyone, Cardoso, and again coming out is the keep. Garcia able to make a play, and we've got a corner for the Miners. The senior, Carner Burnett, will take the corner. That one headed again, unable to clear it, and there is Garcia to handle it easily. This ball launched to midfield. As Bingham looks to possess in their back end, will drop it to Davila. Far side with McQueen. You see Bingham spacing it out. This is the style we talked about first year coaching staffs and Coach Aroka trying to move to this type of style for his pace and lines as that ball turned over and a whistle coming as Juarez fell to the turf. Nick Brown will put this in play for Payson from about 28 yards out. A low kick that's easily defended out of the box by Bingham as Alcantara gives it over to Blanchard. He's leading the charge now. Through ball up ahead and just beyond the run put on by Cardoso. A great attempt there by the Miners. Boy, Blanchard did not miss that run by much as this goal kick will bounce out of play for a minor throw in. Settled by Blanchard. Alcantara up ahead again. Cardoso's behind everyone. Shot and our first goal of the game. There it is, Isaiah Cardoso. 
the junior forward. They finally find him, and it's 1-0 Bingham in the fifth minute. No secret, Isaiah Cordoso, he is the guy for Bingham, notching his first goal of the contest. They tried to find him on a couple runs early in this ball game, and the third time it worked out. There he was of the line. That ball deflected out. Throw in, makes it all the way back to this Bingham defense. Pushed up that far side onto the foot of Cardzian. He gets it back. A bit of a run himself, brings it in the box, one on one. And another nice save put on that time by Garcia. Dropped. Boy, I thought I was looking for the one time. A bit of a grounder, and there's Garcia again, just able to stop that shot off the foot of the senior, Zach Nielsen. Garcia already with more shots than many games see, or with more saves than shots in many games. Is now a nice counter put on by Payson. This is McCody Cowan. So he will look to throw it in quickly for Payson. Rosales has it punched away and it will be a minor throw in. Drop back with Miles as he clears this one up. Space, the ball mishandled. Payson, couple Lions there. And coming out with it was Brown, though Bingham able to get it back. And now, here comes Alcantara trying to track it down as there again is Garcia to pick it up. Nice touch up ahead to Sabria. Cordoso drops it back. Burnett is looking to serve one up. That was beyond everyone. Kicked over to Castillo. And there's the Miners to take it right away. Nielsen, that center was a little off the mark. Is Bingham able to regain the possession quickly? Cordoso, boy, great use of the body that time. Outside, and that centering pass broken up by Payson. Bingham will drop it back. Nielsen. Pushing it outside, keeping that in right on the line. Burnett. Boy, a nice wall pass that time, getting it back. Sobrera just inside the box. And Nelson, that, Nielsen, that one was a little beyond him and turned over to Payson. That pass was a little too far ahead. Lions look to settle things up a little bit. Instead, they give it right back to McQueen. McQueen following up the shot. A slow roller that gets past Garcia for the second goal of the game. It's a turnover by the Lions, and the freshman Chandler McQueen nets it for the 2-0 lead in favor of Bingham. Two nil, we're in the ninth minute. Great start for the Miners. Broken up by Rosales. As he lost one ahead, there's that Bingham defense to kick it away. A substitution for the Lions, number 20. We don't have a 20 on our roster, so unfortunately we are unsure of who that is. Throwing, giving back to Bingham. Ball headed up as Rosales tried to control it, but couldn't do so. And it turns into a counter for Alcantara and the Miners. Beautiful pass back to Blanchard. Cardoso was looking to maybe put a bit of a run on. He has it, touches it right back. And right in front of the net, the third goal of the game. This one is Zach Nielsen. And some beautiful passing by the Miners, just finding men in space, and it's 3-0. 
Not the start that Coach Oroka wanted for his Lions. He said that back line, a little inexperienced, been showing it early as Cordoso will drop it back with Blanchard. Coming up with it, it's Castano pushes it outside to 20. Back to Castano. Payson with a bit of a counter here, and that time Castano just ran right over the ball and turned it over in the process. Cordoso trying to get that one through to a run put on by Devenberg. Broken up by the Lions. Well, that pressure. Nice job by Sobrera. It's 20 now up that far touch line. Nielsen there to take it away for the Miners. You see the space that the Miners playing with. A lot of, lot of time and space has been the theme of the first 12 minutes here tonight. One of the reasons why they have the lead they do is that time the turf monster just came up and grabbed the foot of Blanchard. Good to see him able to get up. As that pass was broken up initially by Brown, Bingham still on the attack. Attempt to cross it. It's initially broken up, though the ball will find its way to Burnett. Nice move put on by Burnett. He's got Cordoso to his left. Instead, he just dribbles it right in. And Burnett has it knocked away. Nice job by the defense of Payson. That was Magnum Getling. Able to take it away from Burnett. Burnett's wide open near side. The ball's on the far side. Now a center that will go off the crossbar and out of play. A low kick from Garcia, challenge. One out by Cardzian. And in his attempt to drop it back, turns it over to the Lions. Here's 20. Up the line. Now going to try to put one through, and the flag is up as offside that time was Rosales trying to just stay ever so close to the defense, but got an early step. Bingham puts it in play, back with their defense. Nielsen. Burnett back to Nielsen. Boy, good challenge, one out by Castano. An extended leg of Miles able to break that one up, though Payson still with the possession here. It's Cowan looking to give it to his teammate instead of a couple minors there. Now Bingham with a potential to counter. Blanchard up ahead to Alcantara. And he put that one through everyone into the hands of the keep. Garcia drop kick and no one's there for Payson. Nielsen, one touches it over to Miles. Now he's going to turn the field. Far side with McQueen, has one of the goals here earlier. Sobrera up ahead, Cardoso, that one just beyond him. As Garcia was there again. Again, they like that run with Cardoso, and for good reason, we've seen his speed. Been a benefit a couple times for the Miners, and now another opportunity. Boy, a long drive from Alcantara, one from about 27, 30 yards out, and deflected right off the foot. Pushed outside. Here's McQueen. Sticking with it. Good center. But tried to touch it over to McQueen. And in the process, they gave it back to Payson. Touch went right to the foot of Nielsen. Brown, up the field he goes to Cowan. Couple lines up ahead as Cowan challenged quickly. And Bingham with the ball. Fancy moves by Cordoso. Sobrera. Just dribbling ahead. 
Cardoso trying to get to this one. And he punches it over the goalie. Will it get there? No, it won't. What a great job coming back by Judd to keep that one from going in. He was the last man standing and able to get that one out of harm's way. Th thrown in to Sabrera. Passes up. This is Lawrence. Cardoso, boy, what a nice touch. He's trying to get it back to Blanchard, I believe. Ball didn't make it there. Payson still with it. As Getling tried to get it up, instead it went right to Bingham. Pushed outside with Blanchard. That one in the box, not controlled. And there it is kicked out of the box initially, though Bingham still putting the pressure on as that shot was deflected and we'll have a minor corner. The corner for the Miners punched out immediately by Garcia. He'll get a second whack at this one, headed out. Nice job defensively that time by Payson. But it finds the foot of Sobrera. That nearly an own goal. It will be a corner for Bingham. Burnett will take this corner in the 25th minute. It gets through, and it bounced off the post. How about that? Boy, I think it was Miles who was right there, though. Bingham still on the attack here. And that one's a goal. As it's Corbin Lawrence, another freshman, finding the back of the net. Johnny on the spot as he found the ball right on the shoes and just punched it past Garcia, it's 4 nothing, Miners. So a pair of freshmen have scored for the Miners today, McQueen and now Lawrence. As it's 4 nothing here in the 26th minute. 27th minute, 26th complete. That ball headed ahead. Now an opportunity for the Miners. And right there was Davila to make the save. Juarez and Rosales were up ahead for Payson. Now Bingham with a quick counter here. Run put on, trying to get it to Lawrence, who's making the run. Payson had it defended. Blanchard pushes this outside and back to Sabrera. Nielsen, nice find. Sobrera, boy, a rocket of a shot. And now an open net, punched away that time. Coming back in help was Guzman. 20 able to head this up, no one ahead though, as it's Oscar Lopez with it for the Miners. All batted around, now being settled by Sobrera. Nielsen, looking up ahead, that one was between a pair of Miners and rolls back to Garcia. McQueen, or excuse me, not McQueen, Burnett is able to settle that one. Cardoso back to Burnett. Nielsen, great wall pass right back to him. And that ball was deflected back into the box for Garcia. Two. Had it, tried to drop it back, and in the process, Bingham came away with the possession. Nielsen outside with Lopez. Now they'll drop this back to the defense. Nielsen, quick touch over to Lawrence. Boy, great through ball that time. Up ahead, Cardoso. Right near the top of the box, squares it up. Boy, tried to push that outside and it's just cleared away that time by Cowan. Burnett to put this in play for the Miners. Corner that's long, will roll out and we'll have a Lion throw in. Twenty with it for Payson outside. Again, don't have a name for him. Our apologies to him. Played up ahead to Juarez, and that ball played out by Devenberg. 
That's throwing right to the chest of Nielsen. Great help from the minor defense. She's got several of them back. It's out off of the Lions. Nielsen comes away with it for Bingham. Outside, and that ball was just beyond Lopez. Thrown in to two. It's challenged, and it's one out by the Miners. As Blanchard will drop it back for Bingham. Pushed outside with Lopez again. See the way Bingham possesses the ball. It's just methodical, the way they're able to find open space and get it there. It's Pace able to break up that run. But it's Blanchard who comes back to take it right away. Cardoso, again, had a chance to get beyond everyone. Now he's going to try to track this down and keep it in. He will not get there. We'll have a goal kick from Garcia. Garcia's kick, low, right to Runiz. Put in play for Payson. Nielsen able to head it over to Blanchard. So again, we see Bingham play the possession. So Vera, good ball handling. Looking to get that through and does in the box. And that ball knocked away as it was Lawrence looking for his second goal of the game. So Brera will take the corner. Great ball. Ended up going off the head, I believe, of Bingham. Yes, it did. Goal kick. Excuse me, I was watching the linesman and our head official overruled him. So another corner for the Miners. One headed off of Payson. I think we'll see another corner this side. So Bira to the back of the goal. And that one headed off of Nielsen and a goal kick. Coming up, so Bira plays it ahead. I think it's Merniz. Unsure of that pronunciation. Our apologies to him. Ball's in the box. And another great save by Garcia as Cardoso got that ball through. Garcia able to believe, kick it out as we now have a pace and throw in. Headed up by two, though did so right to Bingham. As again, they look to put on the offensive attack. Well, now they'll back it out a little bit. Lawrence does. Played up with Sobrera. Try to get that one through to Mernies. Burnett with the corner in the box, headed by Nielsen just wide of the net. Substitution for Payson as Kelton Booth has come on, number 11. That ball just cleared out by Turner. Challenge there. We'll have a throw in for Payson. That ball was over the head of Juarez. Look at how quickly Bingham able to touch this, and now a foul is. I think that time, Sobrera got it. Castano came over and gave him a quick hand and an apology. Good to see both are okay. In the 33rd minute, still 4-0. The Miners, well out in front, had three goals in the first 11 minutes. Since then, the offense has settled down a little bit. Is this ball was beyond Mernies and rolls back to the keep.
Blanchard ahead to Cardoso. Just behind Nielsen. That attempt to play up was deflected as Bingham now will drop it back to their defense. Devenberg. Nielsen back to McQueen. Near side with Burnett. Boy played through. Cardoso. Garcia came out. Cardoso able to get it over him. But there was the pace in D to force the corner. So Brera will take the corner. Backside headed up. Another header. Ball was loose in the box and cleared out by the Lions, though the Miner's still with it. Blanchard will drop it. Nielsen challenged and taken away by 20, but only temporarily. Nielsen dropped back now to Sobrera. He finds Blanchard, that one put on and hit the crossbar and then headed in by Tommy Mernese, his first goal of the game. And it's 5-0 Bingham as we've just completed the 35th minute. Five goals for the Miners and five different players scoring them. Great balance shown today from Bingham. So here's Merniz with it again. Boy, it has a man near side, so Breer, that's where he's going to come with it. Couple miners. That ball kicked out by Turner. Cardian plays back. Nielsen. I think that time, Lawrence, I couldn't tell if he was trying to play it ahead or if he just missed that one. No one was there, and Payson able to come out with it. Again, only temporarily. It's been a common theme, a half dominated from the Miners. That clearing attempt just goes right to Blanchard. Turns it in, top of the box. Boy, a deadly shot that was just wide off the foot of Daniel Blanchard. Alcantara comes on for Bingham. And Sobrera will head to the bench, catch a breather. Pacing the throw in to space, a challenge won by Bingham. Here's Muniz with it. Near side, out to Burnett, who's coming up in support. That ball deflected right at the corner of the box. Dropped back to Muniz, and now Nielsen. We're approaching the two-minute mark left here in the first half. Five-nothing, Miners. That ball fired on Ned, and that just missed wide as well off the foot, I believe, of Lawrence. Inside of two minutes left now, clock stopped. On the scoreboard, at least, as 20 brings it up that far line. One of the few rushes we've seen from Payson, and that one just rolls out on him. Thrown in to Castano and taken away immediately by Bingham. Boy, tough challenge there. Miners will put it in play off of the foul. So here's Muniz with it. Now Nielsen plays ahead, trying to get there. It's going to be cards in. This one's too far out in front of him, and we'll have another goal kick. Alcantara with it. Outside with Maniz, centering pass. It was deflected away by the pace and defense. Burnett to take the corner for Bingham. That one headed off the crossbar for the second time. The crossbar has saved a goal. And with that, the first half comes to a close. All minors, 5-0 here over Payson at the break.
start of the second half. Bingham with the ball and a 5-0 lead. We'll switch ends of the field, and Payson would probably like to switch ends of the scoreboard as well. It's been a tough game for him. Bingham has controlled pretty much everything. As we see mass substitutions for the Miners to start this second half, and good on Coach Evans. Opportunity to get some other kids some playing time as we've got a new keep. Gavin Deppi back for the Miners. As we said earlier, one of many changes made at the half by Coach Evans is Bingham. You see them possessing. Ball played out, kept in by Lopez, and then played up the line. Looking to put a run. This is Badia. Badio, excuse me. Is that ball deflected out? We'll have a throw in. Lopez throws in. Punched up and controlled by McQueen. Again, just look at how Bingham one touches this, able to find their man. That one headed into the box and then punched out. And a nice job as a new keep in for Payson. Don't have a number on the jersey. We'll assume it's Tyler Beatty, the junior. Centering pass, controlled in the box, and touched over as it was Merniz. I think he was trying to get it over to Badillo. But Payson there to break it up. Had three goals in the first 11 minutes, almost had one just two minutes into this second half right there. The ball dropped back, and now all the way back to Depi. Davis with it, that far side. Another one of the freshmen on this squad. Lawrence and McQueen, a couple others. Both have goals, and Badillo called his name here in the second half. He's a freshman as well. A lot of youth for the Miners. Again, played back to Depi. Near side with Lopez. Went ahead to Howard. Able to maintain the possession, pushes it out. Davis with it. Pushes this one up ahead to a running Badillo, but the ball was well out in front of him as Beatty will pick it up. This one's too far for 20. Badillo had it, dropped it back to Sprunt. That pass deflected by 20. It will roll out for a goal kick. Booming kick from Deppi near midfield. Challenge. Payson looking to control. Instead, it's Bingham that comes away with it. Merniz plays up ahead to Badillo. That ball got through before being punched away. Skying to get ahead on that one was two. As again, this one played up for pace and no one there as Lopez will look to control it. Now Merniz. As they push this out with Davis. Gives it right back to Howard as we've got a Bingham throw in. Ball gets back to Davis. As now they'll turn it. Near side with McQueen. Time and space for him. Good ball handling by Merniz. Maybe held on to it a little too long. Getling will crush it up. Headed up by Juarez, but Depi will call off the defense and pick it up. 46 complete here. Back to Depi. That pass broken up by the Lions.
Finally, Mernie's able to track this down and settle it up for Bingham. See Pace and playing with a little better spacing here in the second half. As Badil drops it outside. He tried to get it back to him. Did Merniz. It's a great idea. Just didn't quite have enough steam on it. Badil with it now. Near side. A challenge and deflected out off Voren. Thrown into the box. Played back to Lopez. Rosner is the center. And nothing there as it's cleared out. Off the foot of Voren again. Nearly an opportunity for Juarez to counter. Instead, it's the Bingham defense that comes away with it. Back with McQueen. And now back to Depi. Sprunt, challenged, no help from the official as Depi will pick it up. Nice job that time by Howard, still with a lot of space. Plays this one up, Badillo trying to get there. The pace and defense there, they will shield him off and allow Batty to play it downfield for Payson. Sprunt. A centering pass between a couple minors as Davis was able to collect it. Deflection here, pace and throw in. Challenge. Payson has it. A couple minors there. Boy, we're looking to go up ahead into the box. And that time Booth lost his footing, couldn't make a play on it. Nearly turned over. Juarez, I think he tried to get it over to Cowan. It was broken up. A lot of ball handling there by Merniz. Plays us up that far line. And that ball deflected out of play. This is Crump, who had it taken away from him. Now in the box, a center to Cadillo. And it's the sixth goal of the game, the first one for Maverick Badillo. Excuse me, I said Cadillo. Badillo with the goal, the freshman. Nets it in the 50th minute, 6 0 Bingham. And the third freshman to score a goal in this game for the Miners, Maverick Badillo, with his first. Here's Sprunt outside with Lopez. Looking to play it up ahead to Rosner, Rosner, excuse me, as that throw in was over the head of Merniz. Lopez, near side. Again was trying to go to Rosner, didn't get there. They have Badillo near side and that ball was looking his way but too far out in front of him. Ball cleared out. Lopez will drop it back. Boy, dangerous as Juarez was closing down quickly. Speaking of closing down quickly, there's Castano. Able to break it up, though Bingham wins possession back. Andrew Devenberg has come on for the Miners. His brother Nate, one of the starters. Plays it right back. 
Sprunt over to Lopez. Nice touch up to Howard as now Bingham will try to set things up. Badillo, great challenge. Now he's going to track this one down near side. Badillo centering. That one headed off the crossbar for the third time, but it won't matter as Bingham will get the goal again. I think it's Josh Sprunt with his first of the ball game. Far side with Crump for the Lions, 7-0, the Bingham lead. Thrown in, Tawarez able to control. Drop back to Deppi, he will clear this out. Couple Lions there. It's Castano who had it knocked away. Then wins it back on the challenge. Great job not giving up there. Headed back up by McQueen. Excuse me, it was Peacock, number 22. Sprunt, who had that last goal. Peacock again. Here's Devenberg, able to keep the possession far side, though gave it away. Pace and throw in right off the head of Peacock, and now Sprunt will play it up. Badillo, great speed, wins it. Now trying to get around the line defense here, Badillo down the sideline and just rubbed off. That time by Voren, still with it. Badillo able to get ahead on it and offside. They'll just let Batty kick this away. What a great kick off the foot of Batty. All the way down to Deppi, who will pick it up. Rolls it ahead to Kyle Nance. Rosner now at midfield with Devenberg. It was Giovanni Castillo who had to be helped off and talking with Coach Oroca said he was, he was the one with that wicked left foot shot and he could not put much weight on that left foot. I hope for Payson that he's gonna be okay. Punch ahead up that far line and then just booted out by Turner. Cardzian, Blanchard, as well as Alcantara all come back on for the Miners. As now Castano trying to show off his wheels. Has help, pushes this one up. 20 trying to get there and won't. Throw in for Payson. 20 with it. Plays it back to Rosales. Tried to serve one in the box. That one beyond everyone for a goal kick. Deppi's kick right to the foot of Alcantara as Bingham again looking to control here. This is Miles, plays it out. Midway through this second half, 60 minutes in the books, seven nothing. The minor advantage. Great job by Miles just stepping up and through. Is this ball played up and trying to get there? His cards in. His coming out was Batty, and his clearing attempt went right off the thigh of Getling. Boy, Batty was a little slow to get back. The Bingham fans wanted their team to just throw it on net. Is that one saved along the line and then cleared out for a Bingham throw in? Thrown in back to Miles, one of the captains. Boy, nice wall pass there. Stepping up, firing on net, and a goal for the Miners. Taylor Davis, the freshman, 
the fourth freshman to score today in the 61st minute. Well, maybe not quite the game that Coach Oroka and the Payson Lions hoped for. What interesting game this was. All the way back to the opening kick, and then Bingham Miners, they sent notice early, hey, we're coming. In fact, they had a couple great looks early on, and it was Luis Garcia, the keep for Payson, with two big saves in the opening minutes to keep this thing knotted at zero. But that would not last very long, as in just the fifth minute, it would be Cardoso. This time, able to finish off a run. They tried a couple times earlier. This time, they found him. He was able to net the goal. It's one nothing Bingham, just five minutes in. A couple minutes later, and this time, it would be Chandler McQueen off of the turnover, finding the back of the net. 2-0 Bingham. Again, just a couple minutes later, and this time it's Zach Nielsen, the senior midfielder. Nifty move there and finishing the play. 3-0 Bingham in the 11th minute. Things would not get much better for the Payson Lions as the Bingham Miners would net two more in that first half. Goals by Lawrence as well as Merniz. The header, in fact, off of the crossbar. What a nice finish that was for Merniz. The crossbar had some big saves tonight for the Payson Lions by my count, three of them. Ironically enough, the Miners were able to finish off two of those with goals. It was 5 nothing at half. To the second half we go, and one of the freshmen, Maverick Badillo, able to score the goal in the 50th minute. 6 nothing Miners. Just a couple minutes later, we teased the crossbar had some saves and Bingham was able to finish it. Yeah, this time it's Sprunt off the crossbar, Sprunt with the goal, 7-0 Bingham. And then in the 61st, a rocket of a shot from the freshman Taylor Davis. That would make it 8-0 Mercy Rule ball game. The Bingham Miners finish this one 8-0, the victors over the Payson Lions. Uh, we mentioned, you know, this was an intriguing game, opportunity for Payson to learn a few things, and this was the style that they want to play for Coach Aroka. Meanwhile, for Bingham, their coach very pleased with the effort of his squad. Uh, I'm really proud of this group. They're, they're just playing a real soccer. They're connecting passes. They're, you know, moving combination, and, and they're making my job pretty much easy. They're just, you know, the chemistry, it's excellent and I'm really excited for the season. We mentioned in our open uh, the, the youth of this squad, the freshmen really stepped up of the eight goals, four of them scored by freshmen. He also talked about that, the youth and their impact. Well, that's how you build the program. You gotta give a chance to the little ones, especially with, they have a lot of potential. When you give them that chance, when you trust them, that's how you build the first team. That's how you build the whole program for this, you know, excellent high school. Really, this was, this was a game that was kind of unmatched. The Bingham Miners, so talented. A lot of depth, they showed it as they played a lot of backups in that second half, still able to net three goals in that second half for the Payson Lions. Coach Oroka trying to implement a new system. It's rough, it's hard to do, stick with it. He's got some, some seniors there that can be good. It was tough to see Castillo walk off uh, with what we presume to be a, a, a twisted ankle or sprained ankle of some sort. Hope that he gets back soon. He was one of the guys that Coach Oroka was looking for to provide some offense this year. Uh, tough to see. Not a lot of offense tonight from the Payson Lions. The Bingham Miners really controlled this game from the opening kick all the way through. It was an absolute clinic of how to play the game of soccer. A lot to be proud of for the Bingham Miners. This is going to be a squad tough in Region 3 and in 5A. Again, the Bingham Miners 8-0 victors on their home field over the Payson Lions. And that will do it for this edition of High School Rewind. For Vince Francis, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us. We hope you follow us all year long as we go cover the best games on the pitch all year. We'll see you next time here on High School Rewind.